Hi, welcome to my playhouse. And today I have a package from Best Gear. Best Gear is one of the Chinese companies where you can buy um, funny, well, I call them the big boys toy store because they have a lot of equipment for you and me, um, like drones and small computer gadgets and Android this, iPhone that, connections, chargers, all that good stuff. And, and quite a while ago they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to uh, try some of their products to uh, feature in my videos and I did. So this is actually the, the third thing that I've gotten from Best Gear that I um, thought that that I thought was very cool and that I'm now gonna show you. So let's go right to it. This is an HD security camera system. I do have a camera system right now but I wanted to upgrade and therefore I wanted to try this out. So let's see what we have here. So here is the box. HD security camera system. Um, <laughs> no installation fee. Oh, I'm gonna do this myself. So, but if I wanted someone to come and install it, well, that wouldn't be true. No monthly charge. That is true. Do it yourself. Simple. Let's see about that. This uh, system costs about 155 US dollars on their website. So uh, on the side we have other features available here. There is the model number down here, it runs off 12 volts. Uh, this one, I've gotten the one with EU plugs because there is a difference in voltage between the United States and the EU. We use 220 to 40 volts, um, closer and closer to 240 volts. Let's uh, do an unboxing on this, open it up. I have had it just opened enough to sneak peek down into the box. I haven't actually had it out of the box, but I have had it um, kind of this far. This is how it's packaged. There is four cameras here and there is a controller box. So let's... Uh, I really love this plastic. It's, uh, it's really weird. It's like the ice cube bags that you can get where you can produce ice cubes. So let's uh, take it out and here is the controller. It looks like a router uh, with a couple of antennas here, but yeah, we'll get back to that. Then we have the four cameras oh, pop. and uh, one of the things that I noticed on their website was that these looks really cool. I like the looks of those. And they are 1080p, 2 megapixels, Wi-Fi, IP camera, and there's a serial number, and there's the lens. It's, they say it's a 3 megapixel lens. Um, awesome. So, there is four of those. Ah. They're scooped down there really good. Maybe I could just have taken this out. Uh, at the bottom we have some, we can see that, there is some other packages. I'm still missing some chargers, so that might be in some of this. Uh, big box is empty. Let's see what's in this one. Chargers. There is five chargers here. Uh, one for each of the camera and one for the control box. EU plugs and these are 12 volt 1 amp. They actually go from 100 volts to 240 volt AC. So these would also work in the United States, but of course the plug is different. What's in this one then? Oh! It, uh, all the. Did I miscount? Oh, there's only four chargers in here. I did miss cam. So these are the chargers for the cameras. And here is the charger for the, for the controller and that is two amps. Otherwise exactly the same thing. There is the antennas for the cameras here. Nice, we could just try and mount that. 
I'm definitely going to be using that because I don't feel like drawing cables around. Just the problem of connecting these cameras with 12 volts is going to be a challenge if you want to hang them around your house. Okay, that's nice. Then <laughs> we have a mouse. I have heard from reliable sources that this is uh, not that high quality a mouse, but it's included. So it's it's really flimsy. I don't know. Probably the cheapest mouse I've ever seen. Then we have some mounting bracket. Oh, that is for this cable. Okay, it's possible to connect this with wires and therefore there is an RJ45 connection right here and here is a plug to make that water tight and I see there's a little green LED there too so you can probably see when there is activity on that. Nice. Then there is wall mounting devices, screws on the floor and that's that's about it so let's see the box i need to remember to pick these up so here we have the controller it has its own little supplies here let's see we have we have the flimsiest of quick start manuals. We have a CD-ROM. There's nothing written on it. So probably software for the computer. We have four screws and the quick start manual. It can do a lot of stuff. You can even install a hard drive inside the box here. So that's a that's an option. They are though showing another box, so um hoping this is still an option in this box. Uh, yeah. Manual. Probably would have to need would probably have to read that to get something good out of this. Plastic cover. Um, nothing on the front except they have branded this. They call it S-Z-S-I-N-O-C-A-M. I'm not even gonna try. On the bottom for channel Wi-Fi in VR. Network video recorder. That 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 could be it. That could be it. Then there is a QR code here for your phone. I'm guessing that you scan the QR code and you get access to this device. Oh, and the screws are from mounting. This awesome. Nice. On the back of it, we get um, a couple of features here. We get the <laughs> quality pass sticker. We have something in there that has not been punched out. We have a VGR connection, we have an HDMI connection, we have a network connection, we have a USB connection and power. So this should be able to connect directly to the TV, which would be really easy. I would like to try that. So it's a new day. I didn't have enough time to finish this up. So we're gonna plug this in today I have left the mouse in the connector here, right there. So, and right next to it, I have my Cenovo TV box. It is running Windows 10. And we're gonna borrow the HDMI connection from that and put it over in this box. And also, I have plugged in the power adapter for this one. So we're gonna plug that in. 
try and get all these cables in the right direction. There, power has been plugged in. It says a beep. And then there is a splash screen. Um, my TV was not able to run this the first time. So I actually had to connect this small newer monitor to change the TV resolution of this box. It was set to 1280 times 1024 and the TV just didn't like that. So um, I've been in here and I changed it to the full HD of uh, what this TV can do. So now it sees the cameras and they are very difficult to configure. You um, power them on and then they just pop in. So I've been around the house and I've uh, put up the four cameras pointing in different directions. So here we have the back entrance, we have my kitchen, we have the summer garden and we have one pointing out the window um, down to the city somewhere. It complains right now that I haven't put in the network cable. It's able to do all kind of good stuff with a network cable. So the would probably be a good idea, would probably also be a good idea to give it its own VLAN so that you don't have this box on your regular network um, but so that it's on its own network. Right now it's complaining about that there is missing a hot drive in here. You're actually able to put in a hot drive. Just a regular 3.5 inches hard drive, you would be able to stuff in there. Oh, oh, this is a SAS drive. It would probably not be able to take that. It takes SATA drives. But I was amazed of how much this box can do. If you have the four pictures here, um, you can zoom in on some of them. We can see the back door, double click the mouse again. We can go see the kitchen. Um, I haven't had my breakfast yet, it's on the table. Then we could see the summer garden. And all these cameras are recording in HD. And if we right click, we get a menu of all the things that you can do in this system. There is a split screen. It's kind of what we've already seen. We can see one at a time, we can see all four. We can go into something called video manager, uh, where we can set the admin password. I haven't changed it yet. For right now, it's just admin and nothing for the password. So that's the default. Um, and we can go do some more stuff. It sees the cameras down. It has given them IP numbers uh, from itself. So right now it is in its own VLAN, which good enough. I'm not gonna go through all these menus. There are so many options here. So let's go back, there is system setup, even more menus. I found something that I thought was pretty neat yesterday here on the screen setup. You can enable the box to switch between the four cameras by enabling this thing and pressing apply and OK and just picking one. And then every five seconds it will change the screen. Um, there and it will just be looping between the four cameras, which is pretty awesome, I think. So it looks pretty good. On the screen itself, you get up here the time and date when we are doing this. Over here, you get a little green icon that shows how much uh, Wi-Fi uh, strength it has to that camera. And that is good for all the cameras. This one is a little bit weaker. Oh, it's the same as that one over there and that is pretty neat we also get a timestamp down here and over here we get some cloud information about this system back again also in the menu video playback you can go see the video that you have recorded if you have a hard drive in here i don't then there is a video backup it can take the the files on the hard drive and copy it somewhere else over the network awesome color adjustment you can tweak every camera um, make the colors go up and down how much yeah we could just press that you could just kind of see it's it's down here there is 
hue, brightness, saturation and contrast that you can mingle with. Then there is PTZ control. That's for cameras that, that, that can actually move around. You know, the, the ones that can turn and zoom and stuff. You can control that there. Then there is manual record, volume. There is um, the cameras also records the sound and you can turn that up and down. Then there's the wizard setup and fast network, Wi-Fi add and exit system. You can reboot, restart, shut down, whatever. So yeah, that's cool. Me? Did what? I can assure you I haven't had a crumb all morning. Don't know what you're talking about. When you connect this device to your network, you'll be able to watch the cameras remotely. And there is also applications. Oh, I have a lot of YouTube comments that I haven't replied to yet. I'll get to those. Um, but you can also get the video feed on your smartphone. It also does motion detection, so you can choose that you don't want just the feet, but it has to look if the door opens or if someone is at the window, the weird corner behind the bush where no one is supposed to be. The roof? I don't know. Probably not a good idea. Santa Claus? Well, he'll be up there. Uh, winter garden? Well, my neighbor's kids place in my back garden, so Probably not a good idea, it will be a lot of data, just stored for no reason whatsoever. But I was amazed how easy this was to set up. I thought that I would have to go in and configure each camera and tell it this and tell it that. I didn't have to do anything, it just popped up. Which is both good, it's really good when you're doing a video review. It, you probably need to go in and set some password and some stuff on those cameras because they are probably widely available through the Wi-Fi. The neighbor could go in and see my camera and ooh, see what I'm getting for breakfast. Don't really want that. So there is the option of locking into the camera and setting the passwords for each camera so that the system will need to use a password to get into that camera. So you have to set up security on your security, <laughs> more or less. This surveillance system was sent to me from GearBest. It is widely available in multiple versions. You can get this with two cameras and eight cameras. I was actually hoping that this would be able to do eight cameras. I'm not sure yet if I'm able to expand it up to eight cameras, but right now it only sees four. Um, I only have four cameras, so that might be why. But if you're curious about this security camera setup, you could visit their webpage. I have linked this product below and they have many other systems as well. This was just a product that I found most interesting. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.